The QuietCool Clean Air window screen is designed to help filter pollen, allergens, and other airborne contaminants from being pulled into the home when the window is open or when operating your whole house fan. The Clean Air window screen offers a MERV 5 rating for superior air filtration. In this video, we will walk through the installation process of the Clean Air window screen material in your existing window screens. The first step is to remove your existing window screen. To do this, open your window all the way. Using the pull tabs, pull your window screen away from the groove of the window and push the screen out. Once the screen is out, it is time to find a nice open space to replace the screen material. We will start by removing the spline. We will not be reusing the existing spline. Because the clean air window screen is thicker than your existing window screen material, you will need to purchase spline material that is 0.015 inches smaller than your existing spline. You can take your existing spline to your local hardware store and they will be able to measure it and help you find the proper size spline. Once you have your new spline material, it is time to prep the screen for the installation. With a wet microfiber towel, wipe down your screen. Now remove the old mesh material. Make sure there is no leftover screen material inside the window screen frame. If you are replacing the screen material on an older window screen, you may need to replace the corners of the frame and the springs. These can also be found at your local hardware store. Since this frame is in good condition, we will not be replacing them. We do recommend that you replace your existing pull tabs as the standard pull tabs can be very brittle. Now we will begin to bow out the screen. This is very important as sometimes the frame will bow in when you are installing the screen material. Using your rubber mallet like this, apply a little pressure and push out on the frame. You will be able to see that the screen is bowed out just a little bit. Repeat this process on all four sides. Now we will install the pull tabs. These will be installed on the opposite side of the frame from the springs. We recommend replacing the old tabs with metal pull tabs. These can also be found at your local hardware store. Grab your tape measure and align them 4 inches from the edge of the frame. Now let's grab the new screen material. You will notice that the screen material has a shiny side and a matte side. The shiny side will be on the outside of the window and the matte side will be on the inside of the window. Now we will begin rolling the spline into the screen frame. We always recommend starting on the opposite side of the pull tabs and doing the side with the pull tabs last. Place your spline in the window screen and begin rolling it into the screen frame. Run your hand along the window frame as you roll the spline in. As you roll the spline into each side of the screen frame, your pull tabs may have shifted. Grab your tape measure and make sure they are still in the correct position. Continue rolling the spline into the screen frame. Trim the spline when you are finished rolling it into the screen frame. In some cases, the screen may bow a little bit as you install the mesh. Simply pull the spline out a little bit and re-roll it into the screen frame.
Make sure that the spline is pushed all the way into each of the corners. Now that the spline is installed, it is time to trim the screen material. Starting right on the inside above the spline, begin trimming your screen material. Again, make sure your corners and screen material are pushed all the way in. Once you have finished installing the screen material, it is time to reinstall your window screen. On your window, you will find a deep groove and a shallow groove. The deep groove is where the springs will go. Insert the side of the frame that has the springs into the deeper groove, and using the pull tabs, pull the screen into your window frame. You're done. Your new clean air window screen is now installed.